Keep your heads up, family, and your arms covered. It's 123, and here's the verse of the day. And look at those cheeks. And it's 1 Corinthians 13, 11. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. And Jesus said, Unless you're like a little child, you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. So hold on to your childlike faith, family. Keep forgiving. Keep having mercy and love for everyone, even your enemies. Pray for them and bless them and forgive them. Remember, that's what Job did over everyone that was against him and he received a double portion and we're in the jubilee the year of restoration so pray that everything that the devil has robbed you of and your family and stole from you that our father in jesus christ's name restores it now on to the signs right where Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, said they would be in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And we'll start with the moon. And this email from Deborah's date tree came through this morning at 8.29 a.m. And the new moon was sighted and confirmed over Jerusalem at 4.50 p.m. by Roy Hoffman, which got me excited as soon as I seen it. And this should encourage you. And remember, no one knows the day or hour but our Father, but he told us where the signs would be. And we know we're in the last days. Israel's about to turn 75. And as soon as I seen 450, I got excited. And here's why. Because when you go to Strong's Bible Concordance for Greek, it's to raise up, to rise. I raise up, set up. I rise from among the dead. I arise, appear. And I'm feeling his Holy Spirit. All glory to you, Father. And in Hebrew, the definition is, God knows. But it gets bigger. Deborah Gordon and five others confirmed it at 5.07 p.m. And when you go to Strong's Greek 5.07, the definition is up, above. And the usage is up, above to the top, up to the brim. Things above, heaven, the heavenly region. And it was also confirmed in Tiberius at 508. And when you go to Strong's Greek 508, the definition is upper room. All three definitions of all three times that the new moon was confirmed are all pointing to going up, to raise up, up, above, and upper room. And again, these are the times that the new moon was confirmed over Jerusalem and Tiberias. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And now I'm going to go over more signs to encourage you, family. And when you go to Earth Sky, it's right here. Venus and Saturn conjunction Sunday evening. That started last night. And as you can see right here on the picture, underneath that conjunction is the crescent moon. And this is real time. 10.45 a.m. on the west coast in my time zone. And on the right, you can see the sun. And on the left, you can see the conjunction with Venus and Saturn. And right underneath that conjunction is the crescent moon. And if you remember my last couple videos, all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ, I went over the comet C2022E3ZTF. Today's the day, 123, that it reaches the tail of Draco, the dragon. And I'll show you that in just a minute. But real quick, Israel 365 News, there's an article about it. And it says, once every 50,000 years, Green Comet to make near-Earth pass in two weeks. And as you can see, they posted Joel 3.3 in the article. And the article saying on February 1st and 2nd, it will make its first appearance in nearly 50,000 years. But we know that's a lie. But the point is, it's a once-in-a-lifetime event. And I already showed you, it already made its closest approach to the sun last week. Now it's going to make its closest approach to the earth next week. 
And this comet, this green comet, is getting a lot of attention, family. It's a sign in the stars, in the heavens. And now it actually has three tails, two behind it and one in front of it. And just a few days ago, this article came out about a disconnection event in Comet ZTF, and there's pictures of it. So there's a lot going on with this comet and its tail. And in Stellarium, you can see right here, it's almost reached the dragon's tail. And as you go through the hours, you can see it getting closer and closer to the line. And I'll zoom in. And as you approach the 24th, and you go through the hours, right about the 23rd hour, it reaches the tail. And then by tomorrow, it'll be past the tail. And if we're still here and you go through the days, you could see right about Purim, it starts slowing down and turning. Right in front of the constellation they call Orion, which is biblical. So we're going to keep our eyes on this comet and keep tracking it. And just like you, family, I'm waiting for the resurrection. I'm waiting for the rapture. I'm waiting for Jesus Christ to come and get us and take us home. Patiently, like he said to do. But finding the date of the rapture doesn't matter to me. I'm not looking for the date. I'm looking for our blessed hope. I'm waiting patiently. I know he's coming. And so do you. And he said the signs would be in the sun, the moon, and the stars. So that's why we're looking at the signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. And we know he's at the door. We know this is the fig tree generation. We know most of the Jewish people have already came home. And if we're still here on Purim, when Esther saved the Jews from annihilation, the signs are gigantinormous. If I'm still alive, I will show you shortly. The signs on Purim are bigger than they've ever been any year that I've been watching for decades. What I'm seeing is absolutely amazing and astonishing. And I just felt the Holy Spirit hit me in the face. All glory to our Father, in the name above every name, Yeshua HaMashiach, a.k.a. Jesus Christ, the King of Kings. And you're saved from hell because you believe in Jesus Christ. But it doesn't stop there. There's rewards and there's people that need to be saved from hell. And everything you do for Jesus Christ right now before he comes, those rewards will last for eternity. He told us not to store our riches up on earth, but to store them up in heaven. And he said, let your light shine before men so they see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven. And then he said, if you do your works in secret, our Father will reward you openly. So I balance that out, family, because I want him glorified, and I also want to do them in secret. So he rewards me openly. So I do both. And I suggest you do too. And all glory to our Father, in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. Ever since Christina and I started this ministry, we've been fruitful, and I still am, because his sheep hear his voice, and many of you have tied into this ministry, this fruitful ministry, for his glory. It's called the Great Commission, and you're a part of it, and I praise him and glorify and thank him all the time for you, family, and since Christina escaped... I've been doing the ordering and everything else myself, all glory to our Father. And I just got in 10 more sleeping bags, 10 tarps, and 16 more tents. And I just put together 48 more backpacks with the Bible and the invitation and all the goodies you guys see me put in them. And His Word never comes back void. So until he comes, as long as he allows, I'm going to keep being fruitful. I'm going to keep planting seeds. I'm going to keep feeding the homeless, the poor, and giving them drink. A lot of them are the lesser of the brethren. 
and a lot of them have astonishing faith. And remember, blessed are the poor, the rich in faith, the kingdom is theirs. Ooh, I just felt his Holy Spirit through my body all over again. Praise you, Father. We thank you for the Ruach HaKodesh and everything that you're doing. So keep your eyes on him, family. Remember, Peter did, and he walked on water. And he's telling me to feed his sheep. So we go to James chapter 1. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting, My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that give it to all men liberally, and unbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let not man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let the brother of low degree rejoice in that he is exalted, but the rich in that he is made low, because as the flower of the grass he shall pass away. For the sun is no sooner risen with a burning heat, but it withereth the grass, and the flower thereof falleth, and the grace of the fashion of it perisheth. So also shall the rich man fade away in his ways. Blessed is the man that endure temptation, for when he is tried he shall receive the crown of life which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil. Neither tempteth he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Do not err, my beloved brethren. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. I'm filled with the Holy Spirit, family. Eat up. Be joyful through every storm. Make sure you're saying the Lord's Prayer every day. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. So don't be idle, fam. Keep shining bright. I say it all the time. It's crunch time. And only our Father knows how many days left we have to be fruitful. And it's our job to reach the lost. And they're not hard to find. And if you call on Him and ask Him for work, He will give it to you. If you drop the nets and follow Him, He will make you a fisher of men and women. I'm living proof, family, all glory to our Father. And some of you are living proof too, like our brother Caesar and our sister Sarah. This is absolutely beautiful what Jesus Christ is doing through them. And I'll share it with you right now. Because they emailed me and said, Hi, family, peace to you and yours. We're Caesar and Sarah, owners of the Kingdom of Heaven Online, a ministry aimed at sharing the gospel with the youth. You've been placed in our thoughts to receive one of the first 100 Jesus Christ Eternal Life Edition basketball jerseys free from the Kingdom of Heaven. Dot com. Free for anyone with any donation. We're a single family home ministry in look of any financial support. They started with 100 pro quality jerseys hoping to make these available to everyone. We've only made 100 men's sizes currently. A batch of a hundred cost them $4,000 roughly. And their goal is to reach enough money to make another hundred. All this to bring more to the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Thank you in advance for supporting. May God bless you on your path. And may you too shine even brighter in the kingdom. And the jersey's right here. On the front, it says eternal life with the crown, with the number one.
And on the back, it says Christ with the number one. Because he's number one. The only one. The only one true living God. And on the tag, they put Matthew 6, 33. Seek first ye the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things will be added unto you. That's what they're doing, family. And again, if you pray and ask him, he will send you work. What Caesar and Sarah are doing here is absolutely amazing for the kingdom. They're seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything will be added unto them. And me personally, I'm going to rock this jersey every week. I'm hoping I'm wearing it when he comes and gets us. And I'm going to show you some more of his perfection and how he worked this out through Caesar and Sarah perfectly. This is one of the most awesome projects I've ever seen Jesus Christ do through somebody, especially with apparel. And I'm going to show you right now and unbox it for you right now. All right, family. All glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. This is what I'm looking like right now, and I'm on the road right now. And this is the box. This is the gift, and all gifts come from above, from our Father. And you can see right now it says Scripture right on it. And on the side, it has their website, thekingdomofheaven.com. It's pretty easy to remember, thekingdomofheaven.com. On this side, it says born again. On both sides, actually. And on this side, it has John 3.3. 3. Unless you're born again, you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Now, let me set it up for the unboxing. I'm going to smack it open with my little Zion National Park pocket knife. Which God just put in my path. And this is the first time open it, family. Bam! And there it is. Wow, it's amazing. There's Bible verses and scripture all over this. And there's the jersey wrapped all nice and clean. With their website, thekingdomofheaven.com. As soon as you go on there, you can see how to order one of these in your size and make a donation if you can. Man, this is beautiful family. Like I said, I'm going to be rocking this. It's got the crown on it. Eternal one. Christ number one. They made the little logo like our father holding our hand. It's absolutely magnificent, family. This is beautiful. So, if you can, please support this ministry. Caesar and Sarah, they're doing it big for the kingdom, for Jesus Christ. All glory to our Father in the name above every name, Yeshua HaMashiach, also known as Jesus Christ. And I'll talk to you guys or see you soon.